Hey there, Grace Church. Hope this finds you well and enjoying all the feelings that come along with the planning and preparation for the summer months. And listen, we as a staff, well, we've also been doing some planning and preparing of our own as we begin to organize ourselves for the future that God has for our church. And as many of you know, I've had the privilege of serving as the McCain site pastor for the last six years, as well as serving as the executive pastor of sites for the last three. We've also known that there probably would come a day where I would need to fully lean into the role and responsibilities as the executive pastor to better position us as a church for the future plans that God has in store for us. And along with that comes the reality that it is time for me to close my chapter as the McCain site pastor, a role that I consider an absolute honor to have filled. It is a role that needs the right person with the right skill set to carry forward the vision that God has intended for our McCain congregation. And over the last year or so, we have been prayerfully coming before God, asking for his insight and guidance as to who he may have in mind to lead the next chapter of the story of Grace McCain. Well, I'm happy to announce that that day has come. Through many conversations, and to be honest, providential circumstances that only God would orchestrate, we feel confident that God has been preparing Andrew Silbert to be that person. So over the next few months, Pastor Mike and I will be working alongside Andrew to onboard him into his new role. And listen, to say that I am excited to see what God has in store for this dude is an understatement. So, with all that being said, it is my privilege to introduce Andrew Silbert to you as the next Grace McCain site. Andrew, we are so excited for you, my friend. So here's what I'd love to do. I got a couple of questions mm -hmm. uh, I think that will help uh, the McCain congregation and Grace Church at large to get to know you. Awesome. Uh, but it's always good to start out with, tell us a little bit about um, who you are, uh, your family, and kind of mm -hmm. how you got to Erie. Sure, yeah. Um, so I'll start out with I'm a child of God. Uh, it's kind of my primary identity. Uh, I've been a Christian, walking with the Lord for about 30 years, and, uh, and, and that's been the, the biggest piece of my life. It's kind of dictated the other things. So um, I am a husband uh, to a gorgeous wife, Addie. Uh, we met in college. Uh, we've been married for, we're going to be 17 years in August. So. You just got bonus points for the whole yeah. gorgeous wife thing, so good awesome, job. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm going to say I have three beautiful daughters as well. Oh, so yeah. yeah, I feel like a king at home. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm a fan of rapid fire questions, and you don't know these. Let's, no, let's just be clear, these. he does not know these. And so know. these are fun for me, so if you get no joy out of them, I know that I am getting a lot of joy out of them. All right, you ready? This is Scott. Time. This is total <laughs> Scott, yeah. Favorite ice cream? Uh, cookie dough. Okay. Can I say hot fudge sundae? I, 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 cookie dough. Okay. Favorite football team? New England Patriots. Okay, well. Uh, go Browns. Kale or cauliflower? Cauliflower. Oh, that was too Cyanic. fast. Yeah, come on. Wow. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? No. <laughs> oh, it's not a Christmas. Pastor Mike. No, it's not a, Mike. That was a it's Pastor a Mike Christmas question. Movie, That's so funny. Favorite boy band? Oh, man. Uh, Insane. <laughs> it's gotta be, right? I was gonna say O-Town. I, I don't know. I know. All right, so you said earlier you like dogs. Love dogs. And, but you got cats too. Got cats too, yeah. Um, you like the cats as much as you like so the dogs? So dogs, I feel like, is a love relationship and cats are more transactional. <laughs> like, they keep my house free there from half, my, their pets. Half the people hearing this right now are loving you and the other half I know, are. I know, I know, so I'm crazy. sorry, yeah. How do you best connect with God? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I think uh, prayer uh, and, and scripture reading are kind of the great, moments where you can really connect with God deeply. I think for me though, uh, it's it's always been in his creation. Yeah. Um, I think nature is just such a big part of uh, who I am, what he's kind of wired, uniquely wired me to, to kind of um, recognize his creativity. Um, and, and I love in Romans 1 where it kind of talks about, you know, his eternal qualities, mm. um, his divine nature, uh, his eternal power, you know, it revealed yeah. in nature, revealed by what's been created. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, just to see, again, a sunset, a sunrise. Um, right now, we have a field in front of our house and the grass just waves like water. And it's, uh, yeah, I think of green pastures, still waters, things like that. So it's, yeah, uh, pretty cool. nature is a place that I've just, just found a deep connection with God. So, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so then the next thing you basically see is you see Derek on all fours, bear crawling up the hill, trying to chase Don Lundberg, and it is a scene like, uh. Oh, hey, Grace Church, how you doing? Hey, I, you know what, I, I really like y your shirt. I love that shirt. No, actually, sorry, not not you, it, it, sir. It's, it's the person behind you. Yep, I really like your shirt. Hey, Steve, good to see you. 
Youth, hey, hey, no holding hands, no holding hands, church. Leave, leave space for the spirit. Well, hey, Grace, I tell you what, while I got you here, I'd love to talk about team night. So team night is a chance that we take every year to gather in all the volunteers in our church who serve inside the walls, and we just get to celebrate the heck out of them because they're the ones that create the environment of support, encouragement, and, and the place to send people out from our church to go live out their calling where they live, work, and play. And so on behalf of all the Grace Church staff, we are inviting you to team night, July 9th from 5.30 to 7.30 out at Grace Harbor Creek. Food, fun, games, it's gonna be a blast. You can go to whosgrace.com to register. And if you pre-register, there's actually childcare between ages zero and 11. Hope to see you there.